Hey guys! So this is my August favorites video. This is my first August. This is my first favorites video. Sorry, I had one of my favorites on my finger. I didn't mean to. Um, but this is my first favorites video. My stuff likes to fall. I have it all piled up over here, and it just likes to fall and to make me angry. But um, yeah, this is my first favorites video. Super excited. Yes, it's filmed on the crappy quality of my webcam again. Sorry for that. Um, if you can't tell from my last video, I did dye my hair, so it is darker and more red. And that is actually one of my favorites, so I'll get to that later. Um, but, again, if you see me doing this, it's because my video goes away, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I made a list throughout the month of my favorites. It's right here. It says the August favorites at the top. It's got all sorts of stuff. And I just tried to put it in some semblance of order, so I don't know if it's going to work out that way. So uh, let's try it out. Alright. Number one is my mascara. It's by Mark from Avon. And it is the Lash All You Want High Volume Mascara. You cannot see that at all, can you? Um, that's a negative. Okay, it is the Lash All You Want Mascara in Jet Black, I believe. No, it's just black. My eyeliner's in jet black. Um, but this is my Mark Lash All You Want High Volume Mascara. And it's really awesome. I actually have it on right now. Again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I have it on right now. Um, this stuff, it's, I mean, it's thick, like normal eyeliner, like the kind where if you leave it on at night, which I sometimes do because I'm, <laughs> I get really lazy in cleaning my makeup off. That's why I never really wear makeup. But, um, I do, I mean, of course, I leave it on and it makes my eyes all crusty and it's gross. But, um, it's a really good mascara. Like, it's not, like, it's pretty waterproof. Pretty great. So that's my first favorite of the month. My second is, I also have this on right now. Um. It's in my purse makeup bag, so I have to dig it out. Um, is my e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. You can kind of see that. Um, there you go. But, um, this is just also in black. But, um, and it's, it's just got the little felt tip on it. And, um, you guys can see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna have a black line on me. It's pretty dark. I like it. Of course I have horrible, my hands shake like a freaking leaf. So it's hard, I mean, it's hard for me to put on, and it's not as waterproof as it, as you might think it is. I mean, it says it's waterproof, but it's really not too waterproof. It doesn't really bother me, though. But, I mean, if that bothers you, then don't buy this, I guess. Um, it doesn't bother me at all, though. Plus, it was a dollar, so I was like, why the heck not? Alright, so the third favorite on my list, although I have to find it, okay, there it is, is my Concealer Twins. From Physicians Formula. I'm actually, again, wearing this right now because I had um, picture day at school today. So it's just in the green and light. And it's you put the green one on first to conceal the blemishes. And you put the cream one on top, like the actual like light concealer, to cover up the green. And it works amazing. Like I love green concealer because it works so awesomely. And it, like, dim helps diminish the red. It kind of cancels out the red, because green and red are complementary colors. So it cancels it out, which is really great when you've got a bunch of giant zits on your face and you have picture day, like I did. Um, but it's, this stuff works wonders. I absolutely love this stuff. I had the original Concealer RX that came in, like, the little, like, syringe thingy. Um, it was in this cool, like, syringe packety thingy. It looked like a, like a shot syringe. Or whatever. But it was great. This stuff is awesome. So, I love that. And then my next favorite, since I, I keep wondering what is on my hand, but it's the eyeliner that I drew for you guys. Um, my next favorite is actually not on this list because I totally forgot to put it on there, but is the... I've gotten sucked into the world of BB cream. Um, of course, I don't wear it all the time because I'm a failure at life and I hate wearing makeup for some stupid reason. I'm a girl, I'm a girly girl, but yet I don't like wearing makeup all the time. I don't know, I'm just too super lazy to take off. But, um is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, the 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. And it blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, smooths, hydrates, has SPF 30, and has 0% oils and heavy other ingredients. Wow. 
this right here. It's not a memo. Um, so it has all that in it. And I know you probably guys are going to be like, well, that wasn't you. That was probably just because you didn't take it off or it was just you grew out of your skin tone or whatever. Um, literally, of course, I'm lazy with washing my face too, which I really shouldn't be because that's a bad thing. But um, the first time I wore this, I've only literally worn it twice, but it is a favorite of mine. Um, you're like, well, you've only worn it twice. Shut up. Um, <laughs> but yes, I have only worn it twice, but it is awesome. Like, literally, again, you guys are going to be like, that wasn't because of that. Stop talking about it. Literally, the first time I wore this, my face used to be really oily. It used to be a combination of really oily and dry, which really used to make me angry. Because I was like, why is my face so oily? Why is my face so dry? My face is oily right now because I had personal fitness today. This stuff, literally, like, the day after I wore it, it was like my oil was gone off my face. It's pretty awesome. Probably it's not going to work for you. That worked for me. It's great. I love it. So, yeah. Alright, next thing. Back to my actual legitimately written list. Um, number four is my Julep Kate Polish. Again, I don't know why I always shake my nail polish before I show it to you guys. <sighs> okay, anyways. Um, it is the Julep Nail Color. Yeah, you can probably see it if I do that. Um, it's this, like, really light, creamy, pearly white um it's really pretty well, let me see if i can open it and show you guys see it i'm kind of trying to make it not drip um onto my laptop because that would suck but it's just really pretty like pearly white it turns out kind of like a more regular white on your nails but it still looks really pretty um and it is called kate which is probably the reason I love it so much but um so yeah this is my julep kate polish and I love it greatly if you guys haven't checked out my julep maven unboxing video of when I got this polish go check it out so yeah next thing on my list I'm only on number five and I've got like 20 something on here and this video is already nine minutes long Woo! I talk a lot um my next thing is my six in one nail buffer this is literally my savior when I'm painting my nails. Um, it's got step one, is this one that's already filed down so much, I can barely read what it says. Uh, yeah, I can't read what it says. It says step one, coarse grit to something, something. So it's coarse grit, just that's step one to just file your nails down really low. Um, I actually used it yesterday when I painted my nails. Um, step two is the medium grit to refine the shape. Step three is the, does that really say tiny? I don't know. It might. Oh, fine grit to uh, smooth edges of nail. That's this whole giant side. It's just like a normal nail buffer. It, the step one really helps if you've got longer nails and you just want to file them down. Um. Although, don't file your nails down a lot. Clip them first. Um, filing your nails down hurts your nails, so don't do that. Um, I read it in my review. <laughs> Step four is the condition nail. It's just this really like soft, like buffery thing. And then step five is smooth the nail. And then step six, the actual nail buffer. And then seven is polish and shine. And it's really smooth, and it makes your nails nice and pretty and shiny. So that is my next favorite. Moving along is my next August favorite item is this mustache ring my friend Jessica gave me it's pretty great and I love it as a mustache ring it's great that's all I gotta say about it next thing is this really adorable black and silver chain headband from Hot Topic I love this headband I just love the way it looks in my hair because it's got this really awesome chain to it and it's great and it's so like edgy if you want to edge up an outfit or something it's a really simple way to edge it up and it's adorable all right number eight on my list where is that oh my hair is number eight on my august favorites i just wanted to try something new so i dyed my hair like a reddish auburny brown i absolutely love it everybody i know loves my hair 
So that's a good thing. I don't even know what that hand gesture was that I just made. It wasn't a gang sign, I promise. Um, <laughs> number nine is underneath my pom pom. Is my floral wedges from Target. They're super high, super surprisingly comfortable, and super adorable. I mean, come on, how cute are these? Super cute. They're also really itty bitty. So I have itty bitty feet. They're five and a half. So, yeah. Next on my favorites. There it is. I was like, where is it on my list? I don't even know. It's my purse. This was in one of my haul videos. It's just my blue, my navy blue um, and brown purse from Old Navy. The purse is great. It's huge. It can store lots of things. I've actually hidden a lot of stuff in here. Not illegal things, I promise. I think I've smuggled candy into movies. Stuff. That's about it. I can I can put a lot of stuff in this purse. Like, it's really big. Like, when we've gone shopping, I've literally put stuff in my purse so I wouldn't have to carry it. It's great. Um, big purses come in handy. Um, next on my list, number 11. Technically, it's number 12 because I already talked, because I talked about my BB cream that was on the list. Okay, so technically number 12 is, I'm, alright, this goes into, like, music and stuff. I'm literally in love with the group Carmen. You don't know Carmen if you've never heard the song Broken Hearted or I Told You So or Crash Your Party or Hello or Coming Up Strong or any of those. You need to go listen to them on YouTube right now. Literally, you're on YouTube watching this video. Go search it. Go search it. Go search it and come back and tell me how much you love them because they're great. Um, Literally, they're amazing. And two more of my favorites that are on my list are um, their song Coming Up Strong and their new single, Hello. Those songs, so amazing. Love them. Can't insert them, probably, for reasons of copyright. So I'm going to put a link to download them in iTunes down below. So you can go listen to them. Or maybe I'll put the link to their um, Vivo lyrics videos. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that. Alright, and then my other new favorite song is the song Some Nights by Fun. If you've never heard it, I don't feel like singing it for you right now. Um... But I will also have that linked down in the description box because that song is amazing as well. Um, next on my list is YouTube Love. YouTube Love. Yay. Um, I recently got into Shaytards. Shaytards is literally the most hilarious thing on YouTube I've ever seen so far. Um, they're hilarious especially when he would chase the kids around the car wash with a pressure washer that was great um and also megan rosette i love her videos probably going to tag her down here so she knows that i love her because she's amazing uh i love her videos on everything like she's she's so funny and quirky and i just love watching her videos she adds a little flair to it and i love it um next on the list is the Olympics were definitely an August favorite of mine. I watched the Olympics every single day they were on. I don't care what was on. I don't care if it was water polo. I don't care if it was men's pair rowing or men's like eight row pair rowing or track and field or rhythmic gymnastics, regular gymnastics. I don't care. Every day I watched something. It was great. Olympics are amazing. Go USA. Just saying. I don't know why I did that because that's a thing for my high school. Don't ask. Um... Although, I do love USA, but I do also love Kate Middleton. Just saying. No hate. Don't give me any hate for that. You don't like Kate Middleton, something is seriously wrong with you. Seriously. I don't understand why you don't like her. She's adorable. She has amazing fashion sense. She re-wears clothes like normal people. She's not one of those celebrities that freaking goes out and buys new clothes every day. Because their old clothes are dirty and they don't feel like washing them. So they don't wear the same thing over and over and over and again. It makes me so angry when celebrities do that. Kate Middleton has reworn things to certain parties. Like, she wore a dress to one party, she wore the same dress to another party. She doesn't care. Maybe she likes the dress. I sure as heck like the dresses she wears, so I don't care. So, like, I mean, Kate Middleton is amazing. Spirit animal. Just saying. Alright, next thing on my list is... Brazilian Alps. 
the summer season that they had on. They had the summer finale a couple weeks ago. I'm so sad that I have to wait till November for the rest of the season. But super excited. I love that show so much. If you have not watched Rotolian Owls, also go search it in the YouTube link up above. Not link. That's a search box that's above my head. Go look it up. It's great. Excuse me. Spaghetti. All right. Rotolian Owls, 20 book I had to read for school. I didn't have to read this one. I had to read the Poisonwood Bible. I'm indifferent about that book. Don't even ask. Um, but we had an optional book we also could read. Dang, this book is... This, not this book. This video is 17 minutes long. Dang. Talk way too much. Anyways, um, we had four optional books we could choose from. We had to read one of them, but there were four choices. There was a book called Mountains Beyond Mountains, Life of Pi, Like Water for Chocolate, and The Shadow of the Wind. I personally read this um, summary for The Shadow of the Wind and it sounded really interesting. So, I love this book. Love, 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 love this book. It was kind of confusing to where you thought you would need a character map at the beginning. Um, Nodding, sorry. <sighs> okay. Um, it was kind of confusing at the beginning to where you thought you would need a character map. But, um, it's not a bad book. Like, if you like mysteries and stuff like that, then you're totally down, you're totally fine with this book, because this book is amazing. Um, it's 487 pages, if you count this little page as a page. Um, it's 487 pages. It's not a bad book, honestly, if you like mysteries and stuff like that. It's really awesome. I loved it. Um... Next book that's on my favorites, I have not actually read yet because I'm still reading the Poisonwood Bible for, it's our first lit unit this year, so the summer reading book is our first lit unit, so I've been reading that since I didn't read it over the summer because I got my books like the week before school started because I'm a giant procrastinator, but um, we're still reading the Poisonwood Bible, we're not going to be done with that book until next Friday. When we have a test on Thursday and an in-class essay on Friday. The joys of being a senior. Anyways. Um, but the next book I'm going to read. My mom is actually hopefully going to buy me. She better buy me. I gave her money for it. Um, the next two books in the series. Richard Castle's Heat Wave. Cannot wait to read this book. I know it's going to be a favorite because I love Castle. And I love murder mysteries so obviously this is going to be a favorite book of mine i'm super excited to get naked heat and heat rises this weekend also frozen heat for those castle fans that i know watch my videos at least hopefully watch my videos um frozen heat comes out september 11th Poss probably in hardcover i'm getting everything in paperback i really wish i had hardcover copies but they're super expensive this is only ten dollars so um if i'd gotten it in hardcover it probably would have been like 25 so don't have that much money so, paperbacks for the win. Also, if you guys have Heat Wave or you want to purchase Heat Wave in the paperback edition, page 105 actually starts on page 147. If y'all peoples that wanted to know that, technically it starts on 146. Um, all those people who really want to know what page 105 is about, it starts on 146 in the paperback edition. Letting y'all know there. Secrets. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. And finally, the last thing on my favorites list. I'll probably add in another clip tomorrow if I get my senior jersey from the herd. This is a copper, black, and white pop pop. If you guys live in Georgia, or you live in the Atlanta area, or something like that, you know that last weekend we had this thing called the Corky Kell Classic at the Georgia Dome. It was where a bunch of high school football teams went and played their first game of the season. My school, cover black and white, um, you're probably going to know what it is now. Fail. I feel it like. Um, please don't stalk me. My mom has gun. Just saying. Um, my school beat the other school we were playing 19 to 8. So, a bunch of my friends are on the football team, so of course I love... My Longhorns, we are great. Again, I probably just gave you a hint about my school. I seriously failed at this. But 
the herd is our senior spirit group. Since we're the Longhorns, the herd makes sense. Um, because my sister went to another school, and there's also their senior spirit group also had to do with the name of their mascot. I'm not telling you that one. Um. So the herd is basically our senior spirit group. We go to football games. We go to basketball games. Basically any sporting event we can. Um. And we support our fellow students and whatnot, fellow athletes and students. And we are supposed to, we get spirit wear for the games. Sorry, I'm watching a football game. Um, it's probably pre-recorded. I don't care. Um, we get a bunch of spirit wear, and we should be getting our senior jer our senior baseball jerseys in today. We should be getting them tomorrow with the meeting. I think Ms. Griffin said. Yeah, I think we should be getting them tomorrow with the meeting. But um, I'll probably edit in my jersey at the end of this video. So I'm sure that's going to be a favorite of mine. So I'll probably edit that in at the end of this video. My jersey. And yeah, that's my August favorites. See you next month for my September favorites. It's probably going to be a bunch of the same things. I'm not even going to lie to you right now. Probably going to be the entire Richard Castle series. Once I've read all of them. Maybe I can persuade my mom to buy me Frozen Heat hardcover because I really want to read it. Yeah. So that was my August favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, also make sure to comment below. See if you want to know more about anything that I've mentioned. Or if you want me to review anything that I've mentioned. Like my BB cream or my julep polish. Or my eyeliner or my mascara or whatever. Any of the Mark products. I own a ton of Mark products because my sister sells Mark. So if you guys want anything on Mark. Let me know. Um, if you guys want to see any more videos, best friend tags, I don't really know what else I could do. Nothing possibly makeup related, because I suck at makeup. Um, if there's anything fun you think I'd want to do, um, you want to see me do, or whatever. Not anything dirty like that. Dirty pervert minds. Um, obviously, I'm, I have a dirty mind for thinking that in the first place. Anyways. Um, anything you guys want to see me do, like best friend tags with my best friend, because I have one and she's great. Uh, if you guys want to see any, like, music video type things or, um, anything like that, just let me know. Or nail tutorials, because I love painting my nails. Look at my nails. Aren't they pretty? Hold on, let me show you this way. This way. This gold one is only painted halfway and it's all angled. See it? See it? See it? Isn't it awesome? It's great. Um, it was actually inspired by Brave. Winning, because that was my favorite movie. That would technically be a June favorite, because that movie came out in June, I saw it on my birthday. So, super, super late June favorite movie break. Go see it, it's great. Um, movie comes out on DVD November 13th. I got you. Uh, yeah. So, I will see you next month for my September favorites, or I will see you soon for the next video, if you guys choose something that you'd like to see. Bye, guys. Oh, what's in my mouth? Totally editing this part out, just in case. Just so you know, this part is getting edited out. Might be in bloopers, who knows. Um, here, I still have it. It's really old, so. I actually think I threw it out because it was really old. Hold on, let me get through my makeup case. She's got a bunch of makeup that I don't even wear. Probably should get started on that. Yeah. Yeah, I threw it out. But it was in like this little cool, it was in this cool like syringe package. Oh, I need to put this in there. I need to put that in my favorites too. Um, tried spaghetti for dinner, but I got stuck in my teeth. Okay, anyways, I need a drink. <laughs> this video is getting edited way down. But, 